Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I am going to get into another stock market video. In this one, we're going to get into dividends. Now, as far as dividends goes, this is a highly useful tool, um, especially when you go on vacation or some other times. So, what is dividends? And I'm trying to keep this as pretty short as possible. So, dividends are simply when a company makes a, a excessive amount of money um, in order to encourage people to hold their stocks it's not really made for the day-to-day -day traders it's made for the long-term traders um, in order to encourage people to hold their stocks with their company so the company's stable the company keeps growing someone and and this same thing with employees is the um company when it, it say, say for example it um got a hundred thousand dollars more than um whatever um it will have to make a choice of uh, putting that money right back into the company itself which means bonuses or uh buying new stuff or whatever it may be and sometimes they'll say we're going to take a portion of that money and put it into the company itself so it repairs things and and do a little bit of bonuses and whatnot within the company but if you get a good company for for, for you you don't care about the employees getting bonuses you care about your money um that's just a simple fact well the fact is is this is where dividends come in play they can either put the money back into the company or they can put the money to the stockholders. And what would end up happening is say that $100,000, it will be split up to all the people who own stocks. So it'll say, um, just keep the math simple. There's a $100 that, that's going to go out to all the stockholders and there's a 100 stocks. So each person, each each uh, stock, uh, each stock that you own will get a dollar. So if you own two stocks, you get two dollars. If someone owns three stocks, they get three dollars. If someone owns one stock, they only get one dollar. It's it's so it's to encourage you to hold as many stocks as possible. And um, some companies they put out dividends on a regular basis. I've seen dividends in the 55 cents per stock, which is uh, pretty good. Now, as far as that goes, some people can get to the point where they live off of the dividends. Because if, if you do the calculations in your head or, or on paper, what you'll find is that if a person spends, um, you know, several hundred thousand dollars within a company that does dividends on a regular basis, what would end up happening is they can actually make a lot of money um, simply off the dividends itself. Now, one thing I want to tell you though is um, at the time uh, the the dividends, there is um, in the United States different taxes that goes with it. I'm not going to get too much. In, in fact, I'm not going to get any more into that. I just want to point that out. So if you want to go that route check the tax laws to see if you can get messed over or not probably not but just want to mention that because because a lot of people go for the dividends because and and, and there's a lot of encouragement between the government and companies for people to hold on to stocks for a long period of time which means companies can have more money they can actually uh, have, generate more jobs that way and and more things and that's that's a really good thing about dividends is is um you might be saying well the company could be putting money back into the itself so generate christmas bonuses for the employees or or whatever it may be but in reality by you holding that stuff even though you're being rewarded you are helping those people have a job in the first place which is cool um so note that note that um there is that and um and you can get dividends i've seen 
I don't know what the lowest it can be, if there is a lowest it can be, but I've seen it within less than one cent per, per, per person. So again, remember it goes by how many, how much money you got based off on how many stocks there is. So if there's like 5 billion stocks, the dollar or whatever amount has to be separated between five billion stocks. So, so I've seen it go pretty low, but I've seen it get up to about 55 cents. Um, and when I come across that, uh, when, when I get into some live stuff, um, not, not streaming, but showing you stuff, um, when I'm researching, I, I might come across that if people want, want to know, and I'll show you some companies that, that does that. But it's worthwhile to just take a look and, and, and um, understand. Um, but anyways, as far as that goes, I um, just want to put that out there to help whomever. And, um, and, and by the way, um, this is a pretty good way to for retirement. Because um, one thing you got to keep in mind is, okay, the company gives dividends, but now the company doesn't look too good. You can sell off whatever you have, and you're probably just going to still come out at a massive, mass, uh, uh, a massive, um, whatever, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be coming out worthwhile because, um, you know, the, the dividends itself will counteract any losses towards the sell if there is any losses so keep in mind you can still sell the stocks itself obviously when you sell it you're not going to get the dividends if, if there's a, a dividend and uh, and you sold it so keep that in mind but you can still sell it so um, it's like it's like having a car you you buy a car and put in and invest money into a car that can take you to work so you can make more money but let's say that you just stop working tomorrow or you don't need it for whatever reason you can sell it as long as it's running and whatever hence dividends it uh or, or hence that uh, everything's good well the fact is you can sell it for a pretty good amount if things are not running so well hence the things start do doing a loss you um you simply will um have a harder time selling it but you can still sell it to, for a little bit less amount than you would otherwise so it's just it, it's kind of like that it's just like another investment so it's just one thing that you gotta keep in mind um but anyways as far as that goes uh, it's been craig bennett and whatnot uh, leave a like subscribe share and let me know what you want future videos to be on and and i'll take a look and uh, I'll see you in future videos. Hope you have a great day.